This is the message Omega Power Ministries OPM and its General Overseer Worldwide, Apostle Chibuzo Give Chinyere, has been spreading as the man of God continues with the mission of taking the contemporary church back to the good old days when the missionaries instituted several humanitarian programs which made the journey to salvation much more easier. Deliberate moves by Apostle Chinyere to resonate those laudable values and principles that shaped the early church have led to countless testimonies by dozens of people whose lives have been touched by the generosity of this gospel minister. This beautiful two-story building, which houses several well-equipped classrooms, is the sixth free OPM nursery and primary school built by the church to assist more children from poor financial backgrounds get quality education at no cost on their parents. Strategically located at Rupoko, a fast developing town in the Treasure Base, the free OPM nursery and primary school has air conditioned classrooms, library, sick bay, CCTV cameras, and a host of other state of the art facilities to enhance teaching and learning. The school also has an adult education section. Despite the huge cost incurred in building this facility, the church insists that the school remains free as Apostle Chibuzo Give Chinyere commissions his latest educational empowerment project designed to give hope to the hopeless in society. By the grace of God, there's a lot of money coming into the, into the church. A lot of money, millions every Sunday. Pastor, what are you doing with the offering? Why not use the offering and build schools? Let me tell you this. If every church in Nigeria or around the world can just build one free school, you will not see armed robbery on the road. You will not see, because how do armed robbery start? How do kidnapping start? They start from little. When these boys, they don't go to school, they stand on the road, you see them hustling you. From there, they go into pickpocket. From pickpocket, they go into armed robbery. From armed robbery, they go into kidnapping. But if they go to school, you see, foundation it matters not just free school quality education that goes with total and complete uniforms at about five uniforms free meals free free school bags free books just mention it a school like this a puppy should be paying two hundred thousand or three hundred but see it is free we have five uniforms you see the suit the children were wearing that's our outing suit is made by the church the shoe, the stockings, and everything you see them wear is made by the church. The free lunch is from the church. Lucky Chukwemeka's dream of being a university graduate was almost scuttled after his father lost his job and his mother's trade as a food vendor could not rake in the needed funds to enroll him in school. But his enrollment in the free OPM nursery and primary school after his parents made contact with the church turned things around for this young man who is now excelling in one of the federal government colleges in Port Harcourt. I'm an ex-student of OPM Free Northern Primary School, which I'm presently studying at Federal Government College, and I'm being sponsored by my amiable pastor here and the entire OPM worldwide. And during my first term, I came out first position, my second term, first position, and I even came out the best student my school. This boy could have been wasted if OPM had not opened a free school. Look at this brain. This brain could have been wasted. Maybe by now he could have been on the streets picking pockets or hawking food. But through that, he said, no, the right thing must be done. It is wrong to use offering and build school and put the school 500 out. It is wrong. Lucky's testimony, which is just one out of many kids with similar stories, is what motivates and drives OPM to do more for humanity. In the grace of God, we intend to open OPM free school all over the world so that children from all over the world can go to free school. Because these humanitarian initiatives directly impact on the poor in society, Omega Power Ministries has continued to grow in leaps and bounds just as the general overseer keeps receiving accolades in appreciation of his efforts in reaching out to the poorest of the poor in the country. Use cost money for just people.